Welcome to my craft area. I'm Anna Hellman and I'm so glad you're here with me today. Let's look at today's project. Where are my chicken people out there? Are you ready for some chicken cards today? I'm pretty excited about these and uh, give me a minute and I'll explain what we're going to be doing here. So Stampin' Up! released this a special release of some chicken products here not too long ago. It includes two stamp sets and coordinating die sets for each one. So here is one card I have made with this Hey Chick set, which is absolutely adorable, and the dies that come with it. Look at the detail on this. I just love this card. So I have a few others here I'll show you. But then what we're going to do today is we're going to combine this Hey Chick set with this Springtime Joy set. So here is a card I've made with this Springtime Joy set, just a really simple spring or Easter card. But I was looking at this the other day and I'm thinking, oh, I see things in this Springtime Joy set that I want to use with this Hey Chick set. And the first thing that caught my eye was this little egg looks a lot like this little chick. So I thought I could make a card showing the eggs with the little chick hatched out. And then I was looking at this basket with the eggs as well. So I'm going to show you a few cards here that I have used both of these sets on, and then we are going to make one of them. Before we do that real quick, I'll show you some of my other Hey Chick cards that I've made because I'm kind of obsessed with these. I think they're adorable and lots of fun. I mean, who, who wouldn't smile with these fun egg and chicken cards? Have a happy day. And this one's fun. So... Let's look at the cards I've made using both of these sets. So here's one I made with the hen from the Hey Chick set and then the basket of eggs from the Springtime Joy set. I also used the little chick from the Springtime Joy set in the background on this card. Here's the one I made with the eggs and the little chick. My daughter helped me with this. She colored the chick. She did an excellent job, didn't she? So you're with the, you're still a spring chicken greeting on it. And here's the one we are going to make here in just a minute that I thought turned out cute with the egg, the chick. And this is the chicken that I fondly refer to as the crazy chicken. And I say fondly, I say fondly because I love her. She's, she's fun. Now I will mention these, you're still a spring chicken greetings. I did bring in from that other chicken stamp set. And this is Hey Birthday Chick. I have some other projects I will share from this one, but I just wanted to show you, I, I really like this greeting. So I did pull it in to use with a couple of these cards. So let's go ahead and we will make this card right now. So I'll tell you what we need. We need a piece of soft suede cardstock for the card base that measures five and a half by seven. This is a little bit narrower than a standard card base would be. It still fits in standard A2 size envelope, but it measures five and a half by seven. I scored it at three and a half and then folded that in half. Here's a piece of our natural touch paper. This is part of our special release with the Butterfly Brilliant set, but it's this really nice wood grain that measures three and a quarter by five and a quarter. We need three pieces of Cajun craze that measure one and five eighths by three and one eighth. We need three pieces of white that measure one and a half by three. And we need about 11 inches of ribbon. So let's do our stamping first. I'll use my memento black ink to stamp the egg. the chick, and the crazy chicken. I love how she has her head kind of to the side like, like she's looking at you wondering what you're doing. Why do you look so funny today? I think she's saying. Now I have my Cajun Craze ink and I'll use that same greeting. You're still a spring chicken. Stamp that however you like. I put it crooked a little bit. 
Now I'm going to use my Stamp and Write markers to color these things in. So I'll use my pumpkin pie on the little egg's legs. and on the chick's beak there. Use my Daffodil Delight here on it. Technically, you are supposed to use Stazon black ink if you are coloring with markers. I usually find that if I don't scrub much that I don't have a problem with this black ink bleeding. But you can keep that in mind if you really wanna make sure you protect your markers. From that black ink, you can use your Stazon now for the crazy chicken i colored some pumpkin pie up here in her head feathers and then i filled on the rest with cajun craze just to have a little bit of blending too bad my little helper isn't here today she just loves to talk about blending i think that may be one of her favorite words I have no idea why. Let's get the legs colored in. Now I'll come back and add some Cajun craze and fill in the rest of these head and tail feathers. Now, if you really want to make these look really neat and blended, to use that word again, you can use your blends markers. And that's what I used on the chicken card samples I showed a little bit ago that I made with the Hey Chick set. You can just do some beautiful blending with those markers. Here's a couple of those samples so you can look at them. You can just get beautiful results with the blends markers. Now, I am going to use my Mango Melody marker for the chicken's body. I think I'm due for a little bit of marker re-inking. In case you are not aware, you can re-ink our Stampin' Write markers with the same ink refills. You can re-ink your ink pads with. So it's a great way to make your stamping dollars go a little bit farther when you can buy those ink pads and buy those markers and refill them with the ink refills that just cost a few dollars each. Okay, so we have these pieces prepared. Now we will put them onto these pieces of Cajun craze to mat them. This is a nice panel card design. You can use this card design and these measurements for all sorts of images. You could put flowers on these, you could put other types of animals, but just a nice simple card design that you could use for all types of projects. Okay, now the one with the egg, I want to tie my ribbon around. So this is some of our cinnamon cider ribbon. I'm going to let a couple inches hang off the edge over here. I'm going to wrap it around twice. And now to get that nice square knot, you want to take right over left the first time. I always have a hard time doing this. I don't know why. And then try to make sure I don't have any twists here in it. And then the second time you want to do left over right. And you should get a nice knot that will lay flat when you do it that way. So trim off my ends. Now I can attach these onto this natural touch paper.
So something I like to do when I attach pieces on to something like this and I wanna make sure the spacing is right, I lay them out upside down first. Get them where I think I want them. And then I can flip over one at a time and put it in the correct spot. So we'll do that one first. I also a lot of times like to do the two end pieces first and then you can adjust that one in the center to be right in the center. That way you don't get to one end and realize you have too much or too little space left. Okay, so on my first one, I did pop this piece up onto that card front. This time I am just going to attach it directly on some more of the seal adhesive. And there you have it, a really quick and simple chicken card. So here are those other samples again that I made with these two different stamp sets put together. The Springtime Joy and the Hey Birthday Chick. And I will throw in the Hey, or I'm sorry, Springtime Joy and Hey Chick. And then here is that Hey Birthday Chick set that I also pulled this greeting in from. So thanks so much for watching along. Thanks so much for joining in today. For more information and links to the products used today, click in the video description box down below to visit my website. Make sure you also click down below to subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell to receive notifications when I share new videos. I truly appreciate you being here as well as every like, share, and comment that I receive. I'll see you again next time when I'll be back helping you to hand make with love.